One vision, one community. Unity in diversity. Good afternoon, Philippines. I am Jambi Reyes. Good afternoon, Pangasinan. I am Dian Palmalat. Today is Friday, 28th of October, and we are live here at the Speaker Eugenio Perez National Agricultural School. For the headline, SECNAS conducts mental health awareness seminar. French firm to equip two Philippine frigates with an anti-torpedo defense system. For the international news, Xi Jinping secures his third term as leader of China. French industrial group, naval group, said he equipped two Philippine Navy frigates with an anti-torpedo defense system. On October 17, DNZ officials and the naval group conducted the pre-delivery inspection of Contralto in France. According to the French company, Canto is based on the delusion or confusion concept to defend high-value and mission-essential units by generating a high-level acoustic signal over 360 degree, covering the full frequency range of the attacking torpedo. Reaction module con Contralto, on the other hand, computes the most appropriate evasive maneuver and deployment sequence once a threat is detected. Naval Group said Canto and Contralto are being used by the French Navy and other foreign navies. The French government earlier offered to sell submarines to the Philippines in line with Manila's ongoing military modernization program to improve its defense and security capability. The United Sea Earth and Hell Beyond the Headlines. Meanwhile, a mental health awareness seminar is currently being held for the grade 11 students of SEPNAS in celebration of Mental Health Month. For the details, live by the speaker Henry Perez at National Agricultural School is Shala May Doria. Shala, what is the latest update? Speaker Eugenio Perez National Agricultural School conducts a mental health seminar for students through a face-to-face -face program today here in Sapna Amphitheater. The main goal of the program organized by the program in charge Mrs. Christine Molik is to raise mental health awareness among grade 11 students with the theme Mental Health and Well-Being for All, promoting mental health in physical and virtual spaces. Of course, the program is not complete without the messages from our research speaker who are Guidance Counselor from Turok National High School, Mrs. Jessa Dea C. Magalo. And from Pangasinan Division Office, Mrs. Madeline S. Suarez. The program will enter a closing remarks from another proponent of the program, Mr. Alfredo Balangue. So again, maraming salamat sa inyo at kayo ang molik for coming up with this seminar. Shaladoria, Beyond the Headlines. Up next, Xi Jinping secures historic third term as leader of China. And Taylor Swift stands to the album, breaks the Spotify record. All will be tackled more. Finger and clover, they go together. Finger and clover, my love affair. Sumut sarap kasama ang Clover! Xi Jinping secured a historic third term as China's leader on Sunday, the state media report, after a Communist Party Congress in which he cemented his position as the nation's most influential leader since founder Mao Zedong. For further details, here is Christian. The Central Committee of the Chinese Communist Party elected Xi Jinping as its general secretary for another five-year term, Xinhua reported, tilting the country decisively back towards one-man rule after decades of power-sharing among its elite. 
His anointment in a closed-door vote on Sunday came after a week-long gathering of the party faithful in Beijing, during which they endorsed his core position in the leadership and approved the stripping reshuffle that saw former rivals step down. She is now all but certain to sail through to a third term as China's president, due to be formally announced during the government's annual legislative sessions in March. The 20th Congress wrapped up on Saturday after elected the new Central Committee of around 200 senior party officials who gathered on Sunday to elect the Standing Committee, the apex of Chinese political power at which Xi sits firmly at top. Xi Jinping has overseen China's rise as the world's second biggest economy, a huge military expansion and a far more aggressive global posture that has drawn strong opposition from the United States. Despite nearly unchecked power, she faces huge challenges over the next five years, including managing the nation's debt-ridden economy and the growing U.S. rivalry. Christian Lucado, Beyond the Headlines. On October 21st, 2022, Taylor Swift's Midnight's became Spotify's most streamed album in a single day. And Taylor broke the record for the most streamed artist in a single day in Spotify's history. Spotify announced the news in a tweet, congratulating Taylor and posting an image that read, that's a real legacy. Leading up to the release, Spotify and Taylor teamed up to reveal lyrics from Taylor's album on different billboards around the world. Now that the album has arrived, fans are diving headfirst into the singer-songwriter's words for themselves. And that's my Showbiz Minute for today. Gian and Jambi. And those are the top stories of this hour. For the latest news, just visit our Facebook page, News Republic Philippines. This is Gian Paul Malato. And this is Jambi Reyes, embracing the news of truth and accuracy. Giving you a whole perspective and worldwide coverage. Always beyond the headlines. News, news Republic. Republic.